One of the main features of Splatoon 2 is the ability to turn into a squid. But what if you just... couldn't? By the way, using launch pads going into levels and using these little sniper things, they don't count as using a squid. I'd like to mention that I actually had to restart half the game just because one of the rules that I had previously, it kind of would be like I would be using the squid a lot, so... Not doing that one anymore. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy. And the game starts in a tutorial area where you have to go shoot down some balloons. Everything seems all fine and dandy until you reach... The wall. This wall that's not even in the actual game, it's in the tutorial room, like come on. But this wall, basically, it stops our challenge and turns it into how many times do we have to use the squid? And in this case, zero. Because I found out that you could actually skip half the entire tutorial by just jumping on these boxes. These boxes, on the other hand... Well, that's our first squid usage of the game. Now it's time to blast off again into Inkopolis and start the actual game. We learn about the great zapfish and then we get our hero gear. We walk towards the first stage of the game and then we just jump into it. <laughs> the first level goes like this. You basically just conserve your ink and just shoot it at the enemies whenever you need to and then just make it to the end. And I wish it would be that easy, but unfortunately, there's a box over here that we need to get a key from, and we can't really make it over there until we go into squid form. On top of that, it's very far away, so you just have to get a running start with your bombs and you should be fine after like 10 minutes. But the other problem is that you actually have to walk into the key to actually collect the key. So that's our second time using the squid. And oh, what do you know? Something we need to climb up with our squid power. At least there's sardinium at the top that we can get with only one squid press. And plus it's mandatory, so it's worth it. Now let's go on top of these boxes and break our ankles. That was literally the softest fall in history. Like how? <laughs> and after all that, we get our first zapfish. And here comes level 2, where we have to jump up these stairs and then make this very, very scary jump. I hate this jump so much. Oh no, the jump is too far. Good thing this box is tall enough for me to jump on. That's insane. And then we reach wall version 2. This one's insanely difficult to actually do. But at least you only need one squid to actually make it up there, instead of using two. This is, however, insanely difficult. This took me like a half an hour to actually get. And I'm so happy I don't have to do this trick ever again. I literally took so long climbing up a wall. After you do some gamer parkour, you receive the stingray. And then fire at this platform until you run out of ammo. Trust me, you really need to do this. The rest is simple. Climb up this wall and then go onto the platform you sprayed. After this, you jump out of the ink to the next platform and barely make it. Unfortunately, after you're done with all that, there's a wall to climb, so you're just wasting another squid. But hey, at least we got our second zapfish. Now for this stage, you might be wondering, how do I even get to it? Well, you can go to the menu once you open up the map, and then you can just teleport to whatever level you unlocked. Unfortunately, the first thing we have to do in this level is use the squid. Not one. Not two times. We, we we have to do it three times. How do you think we get up here? T take a guess. Take a guess. We squid. We squid. Bro, I squid this challenge. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Climbed up this wall with the squid and kept squidding to get up this wall. Sprayed some ink on it beforehand so it'll be possible. And then sometimes you gotta take a break to hate this game. Because come on. Why? In this room, you actually get a splashdown, which is a very, very cool item to use for this level. So I take out all these Octarians, and then I do this. Sponge, bomb, splashdown. That combo literally just saved me a squid press. <laughs> then we reach the end of the level, which requires the use of the squid. Now we go into the boss kettle and win some bread. <laughs> this one tentacled oven is actually nothing to fear, though. It's really really easy like look at this i just walk out of his way and throw some bombs at his head this loaf doesn't seem to like it though looking at his face <laughs> not even the little shower thing did anything to me after a few hits he's toast i'm not even joking around he literally gets turned into toast like a bit burnt but like still don't put water in your toaster by the way or ink 
After all that, we're off to World 2. The first thing on the list was to blow up level 5. We get gifted a gun, and now we're off to... run? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing much to say about this level, though. It's pretty easy, and we actually were able to do it without using the squid once, so... Yeah. And we also got the Sardinium. Boom. In this level, the whole level is basically about squeegees, and since you can't climb on the walls, why not climb on them? Yeah, this strategy is actually insane. <laughs> There's huge squeegees in this level, and you could actually climb on top of them and make it to the next area. Unfortunately, we do have to climb up this wall with our squid, but at least we do this epic strategy that almost didn't work. We grab the key, go along this zip line, and then... <laughs> yeah, he just kind of walks away from you, so now you have to climb up these walls and release the squeegee. And unfortunately, become squid once again. But at least we get the Zapfish. Nothing much to say about this level, it's actually pretty easy and I was able to do it without using a squid once, and also this is possible. Cool. Final checkpoint. That means the level's almost over. We get a lot of lives throughout the... I wonder if we can... Actually... <laughs> that was so easy. Oh yeah, by the way, spinning campground is horrible. I hate it so much. Look at this. The first thing you have to do, climb, climb. Climb some more, but with an added bonus of needing to time it correctly, even though I thought it was kind of cool. Oh yeah, and I can't forget how I climbed some more. And some more climbing with timing, and have you ever noticed how like the ink is shining? Anyways, we own all four of these guys, and then we make it to the end. And I'm kind of conflicted whether or not I should allow this as a squid transformation, but like, it's basically like I'm using a cannon, but I have to be in squid form to use it. Tell me in the comments if you're going to count it, because I'm not going to count it for now. After a scary jump, we make it to the next stage. In this stage, we're against the Octolings, and we literally just snipe them to death. Like, they're nothing. Like, I can make a Fortnite montage out of this, but like, Splatoon too. You know what? I will! Next level. Next level. I'm- I'm not doing that again. In this level, we get introduced to the Hero Roller. AKA, the most powerful weapon in this entire game. Unfortunately, we can't jump high with it or anything, so we still have to squid up for walls like this one. Thankfully, it's only one time because we could actually spray all the way to the other wall. After climbing up this wall, we are faced with another problem. We have to go out of our squid to hit these out of the way. Or do we? You see, a well-placed bomb throw can launch this thing into the wall, making you only need to use one squid to climb up the wall and to get to the next area. I won't lie, it was a very close call though. Once again, Box is coming in clutch for us to jump over. And then now we have to do this scary jump. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually made that. <laughs> Throw a bomb, accidentally make it go too high, so now you have to use your Stingray to save one squid. And then now we've reached the final checkpoint. Unfortunately, the wall's too high, and the box is too short for me to jump up there, so we have to use a squid. Now it's time for the World 2 boss. I won't lie though, this boss fight is insanely easy. It took me like no time at all to actually beat it. <laughs> Literally just whack him a couple times with your roller and you, you're done. It's, it's that easy. Now it's time to go to World 3. The sniper really helps out with getting some of these levels open. Anyways, in the first level we get gifted the hero splatling and I don't like this level. You have to time stuff, you have to climb stuff, it's very difficult to do this level. I feel like there's like nothing you can actually jump over in this level. This level is just pain over and over again. You literally have to cover up stuff you can't even see. Like, what? This level is full of close calls, and if you mess up three times, then you have to do it all over again. Collecting this key and the actual ending of the level are probably the easiest parts, so at least it's not all that bad. Anyways, that's two right there, that's two. Box clutch. And then we did this trick, which I feel like was near impossible. Like, this took me so long to actually get perfectly, just because it was insane. As I said, thankfully the last part of the level is very easy. 
Next level we tried was this one, and it wasn't that difficult. He was forced to use a squid in the squid game multiple times. Want to see something cool? It's very cool. It's that cool. That's how cool it is. We do have to use another squid in this level, though. And now we barely hit this next thing with some bombs. Ooh, a bouncy level. I have a feeling there's not going to be anything that we have to climb since we could just jump around with these bouncers. I was horribly mistaken. <laughs> Literally, you have to climb up a wall at the last section of the level. We received the bucket for this level and I think is kind of perfect for it. The next thing I like to mention is wall number three. How are we going to get up there? Well, I kind of somehow discovered something. Yeah, yeah, he sees me. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. Can you like? <gasps> no way. Wait. <gasps> no way. No way. That was way easier than I than I even thought. I could just go on top of them. Wait. Well, that's our first squid of the level, but at least we could just go on top of this sponge. Well, time to die. After we go up this sponge, we had to go across more sponges and grab the key. Unfortunately, it's very easy to get like spawn camped in this area, but you can literally just walk past him and he won't care. After sniping this guy over here, you got to do some epic parkour. Oh wait, this one's actually insane. Watch this, watch this. Oh my gosh. A cool thing you can do right here is actually get the attention of this drone thing and then it'll come down and you'll be higher than them so you can just walk on top of them. But after that, there's a wall. And after that, there's a sponge so this is gonna be insanely difficult to do. I threw bombs up there in hopes that it would track something and they'd run away and go near the squid. It worked! I didn't get to waste two of my squids, I only used one. And that's the end of the level. When you spawn in, you could already tell it's a bad level. That's our first wall. That's our second and third wall, but at least we only needed to use one squid because I bombed it beforehand. Fourth wall. Fifth wall. Sixth wall. And then now we have to throw a whole bunch of bombs at the very top of this, which is near impossible to do. And we still only use two squid. I'm pretty sure it might be possible to do it with only using one squid, but for now, I'm just gonna do it with two and keep it at that because I'm not skilled enough to do that. Now we're back in another Octoling level, but this time I'm not gonna do a Fortnite montage. I'm not, I'm not, stop. Octoling levels are actually really, really easy, so I didn't even have any problems doing any of these. For some reason, this final Octoling didn't even do anything. Like they just kind of stood there. Now it's time for our next boss fight. Oh yeah, and I kind of fell off the edge. What? That did- Oh! How do I get back up? Yes, that's it. Bro. Go over here! Oh my gosh, that, that was a jump scare. Splatoon jump scare, what the heck? I'm stuck down here, but I'm still winning. Oh, oh, oh we did it, what? No way that's possible. There's actually no way that, that we just did that. We were stuck and we can still hit him with the bombs. I'm so far down. <laughs> so yeah, in the end, we were somehow able to throw our bombs insanely high. Like, I am... How? How did we do that? Now we're on to World 4. Every level was simple enough to unlock, except for this one over here. It was incredibly far away, and I didn't know what to do to get it. So we'll just have to come back to it later. Nothing we could do about this wall, so that's one squid already. If you toss some bombs over this way, you can just barely make it up there with only one squid. By the way, this trick just took me forever to do, so yeah. This wall's too high. That's another squid. 
there was no need for there to be this many walls in this one level. Come on. And another one, but at least the next platform goes up and down, so you can very easily just not climb the wall. I'm honestly quite surprised that this is the 50th time we've used the squid in this entire game. The 50th time. I honestly thought we'd do a lot worse. Oh yeah, 51. And 52. Thankfully, we're done with this level. We used eight squids in that one level. This next level gives us this jump that we have to do, and it's insanely difficult. But it's surprisingly possible. I'm very surprised that worked. But we do have to squid up right after that. <laughs> You can barely make this jump over here, and then you have to use a squid to get up the tall wall. Another barely possible jump, and then we're able to squid up onto the top of the very tall wall. This railing over here saved us a squid power, but we did have to use two squids to get up to the Octoscamp DX. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we can get up there without using a squid. Once we make it to the end of the level, we have to climb up another wall. <laughs> This next level brings us to a wall for the first thing that we see. After you climb that wall, it brings you to yet another wall. After all that, you become a sniper and you have to hit all these Octo dudes from their wall. I don't know how I hit that one, but it was pretty insane. Now you reach these boxes that'll lead you to the launch pad. Unfortunately, they don't. They, they just barely let you go there. You can literally shoot over the launch pad without doing anything. And why do they do that? Why? Please tell me how I survived this. How how did I not die there? Anyways, once again, another wall. I just barely got this sardinium. It was insane. Anyways, this moving platform section is really difficult, but it's possible. In the next level, we receive the umbrella weapon and invisible platforms. Just spray everything with ink and you should be fine with only using one squid. The next section is pretty easy. Just hit these fans and you should be good. If you let your umbrella go over there, you should barely be able to make it to the next area. Pretty tricky timing for the last part of the level, but it's definitely possible. I have nothing to say about the Octolings, they're pretty easy. But now we face a different problem. How do we get to that last level? But I have no idea if, if I actually can. Because it blew up right there. But then again, it didn't do any damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Wait, okay. Do you see that? Do you see do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Do do you see that? Do you see do you see that? The little little tiny specks. Oh my gosh, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. How come we missed all the times before, but then the time that we actually have to go there is actually like on there? So close. Whoa. That was perfect, actually. Oh my god. We got it. I saw the thing that said game saved, and I was like, did I get it? No way. We got it. We actually did it! On this horrible level, we get the Hero Blaster, and I think this is the worst level we've ever played. We have to use a squid for all three of these. That's one, and that's two. This guy's pretty easy to defeat, but then he had to do an out of reach jump. They made you do that just so then you can do it again to get back. This is what I call poor game design, like come on, why didn't they expect someone to not use the core mechanic of the game? Barely not jumping distance. Okay, this level might actually beat the bowling level. Please don't beat the bowling level, please. Okay, this section is actually pretty cool. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm literally the best player in the world. No one can stop me. Not even this huge gap. Oh. Thankfully for the last section, you don't have to do a squid right here. You can just hit these two little boxes and then you're good. It's kind of scary when you realize you almost died there though. <laughs> This wall didn't even need to be there. Okay, this thing's getting pushed up. I wonder how we get- oh. Uh, 
throw a bomb here, then tap ZL on your controller right once you touch the portal, so it doesn't really count as being a squid. The rest of the level is simple enough, but it took us 10 squids to beat that one level. I really hope that doesn't happen in any other level in the next world. Ah, the Octo Shower. When I say this took a long time to defeat, I mean it took a long time to defeat. Like, it, it wasn't, like, difficult. It was just annoying to actually be. It took me almost 20 minutes to defeat this boss fight. I should also mention you cannot go anywhere but the floor. You're just stuck on the floor. Can I please hit this guy? Why aren't they close enough? Okay, okay, okay. He's actually kind of missing every shot. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how. Just don't miss, you know? Easy. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, we finally did it! Oh my gosh. That was like a 20-minute a, a boss battle. And that was that. With World 4 finished, we are on our way to World 5. Unfortunately though, to get all the levels in Cephalon HQ, you have to use three squids. One to get on top of here, one to get over here, and you have to do a jump over here because it's too far. Anyways, let's hop into our first level. On this first level, we gain the ability to use a paintbrush as our weapon. <laughs> and now we see another wall that is once again barely too tall for us to jump over. Thankfully, you can get ink on the other wall, so then you can just use one squid instead of wasting two of them. I squidded up to get the splash down on top of the wall, and I kept squidding up so I can go up this wall. Whoops, I fell down, but it doesn't matter because I have a splash down and I'm kind of a pro gamer. I jumped on top of the block on the squeegee so I can go near the zapfish. And then now we're on level 2. Or 23, I guess. I actually thought this might be a level that we wouldn't even need to use the squid once, but um, uh, as you're gonna see, I was kind of wrong. Once I made it to here, I was like, okay, what do I do? Like, what do I do? I, I just, there's nothing I can do here. I have to use a squid. I don't believe in myself enough to try to climb up this without, like, squidding up, so yeah. This jump was insane, but possible. I kind of felt like I was playing Minecraft after doing this jump. Pretty insane. The rest of this level was easy enough, but it was also kind of scary because of this part. I don't know how I survived through that, but <laughs> yeah. This level has a lot of moving platforms and walls, so that's a problem. That's our first wall, and that's our second wall. And that's our third wall. The worst thing is that they were all just right next to each other. The fourth wall, but except it's a sponge. Two of them, actually. They're both easy to get to if you just kept being a squid, so there wasn't any problem there. The rest of the level was pretty easy. Just time your jumps and you'll be fine until you reach this wall, because obviously they have to put a wall everywhere you go to, to like, to, to squid. On this next level, we have to walk around on these moving platforms, and it's kind of difficult to do that, because some of them are just, like, holes, and you can't really walk across them well. And plus, they're too far for a normal jump. You have to squid jump. So, you just have to wait a little while and wait for these platforms to show up, then you can make your way across. There's also some little cubes floating in the air that you can stand on, and that'll help us for some of these platforms. But we are once again faced with a wall. Or two. Thankfully, the rest of the level is pretty easy. Just pay attention to where you are and you should be fine. In the next level, we see a wall right in front of us. We see two walls over here. This one's just barely in reach, so then we can ink it up but it's possible with using one squid. This wall is barely too far away for me to normally jump there. Once we make this jump on this moving platform, we make it to the most difficult part, in my opinion, of this entire challenge. First of all, we climb up here with our squid, unfortunately. First, you have to throw a bomb over here, hit the thing that makes this move, hopefully have the thing hit there, get ink over the edge, climb up the wall, go on the little tiny speck you got on the side, climb up, make sure not to get hit, and then barely be able to hit the thing back outwards. Ooh, look how close that was. If I was even like a millisecond late, I would have probably fallen off. And that was the third to last level. The second to last level was Octoling, so I'm not even going to show that. Now we're on to the final boss. Okay, maybe not. This gun is really, really slow. I need to upgrade it right now. Upgrading didn't take long at all, so we just went right back to the boss fight. On my third attempt, I 
started to think that it was pretty easy. Like, all they really had to do was just, like, dodge well. There's nothing more to it. Just, just dodge and shoot. And on the Rainmaker section, you wouldn't even use the squid anyways. <laughs> the rails are there for a reason. I think it actually makes it worse if you use the squid. So, is it possible to beat Splatoon 2 without using the squid? No, definitely not. <laughs> But, at least, we actually got under a hundred squid usages. So that's a lot less than I thought that we were going to have to use, I won't lie. Anyways, the final count for how many times we've used the squid in this playthrough was 88. That's a lot less than I thought we were going to get. I thought we were going to get like probably like around 200, so yeah. I think we did great. There were so many strategies that we could have done, and we did. And I didn't even know that some of these were even possible, but we eventually did it. Anyways, that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I was going to try to time that when, when, when it said victory, but I messed up. <laughs> oh yeah, also 30 likes on this video and I will um, do this exact same challenge, but on the first Splatoon game on the Wii U.